be this week. I'm living out my best childhood fantasy. I'm feeling like a pink Power Ranger, honey. I always wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. Let's just get into these readings, honey. Hey, girl. <laughs> my pink Power Ranger powers are just too much for the singing ball. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, Capricorn, I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading for this week, Capricorn. But uh, when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Capricorn, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards for you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Capricorn, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Capricorn, I promise you. If you do find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, Capricorn, because that's how I keep up with y'all, see the comments. And um, as well as that, Capricorn, uh, be sure if you do find some cards that resonate with you to give this video a like and subscribe uh, because it's the best way to support my tarot reading channel, Capricorn. And I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to do that to support me. Um, so yeah, if you do find some cards that resonate, please just do that for me. Um, only fair we ask, just that one. But um, <laughs> finally, Capricorn. Uh, the last thing I want to say before we get into this reading is that I don't feel like any tarot reading, any tarot cards, tarot cards should be making a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, Capricorn, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader that you receive a reading from. I believe that tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you a perspective to consider, some food for thought, but never making that decision, that final decision. Uh, so with all that being said, my beautiful Capricorn, let's just start getting into your reading. Now, we're going to start out with something different. This is what I call like the um, the objective, the goal. We call it a quest in some of the other zodiac readings, honey, Capricorn. Um, what it is that you're going to be working towards, the energy that you want to be owning and immersing yourself as. And you guys actually got the chariot card. Uh, now, I really, you actually got it twice in your reading so far, right off the bat, I just want to say spoiler alert, honey, um, Capricorn, but this is definitely a card of action, taking action, uh, Capricorn, this is also a card of persevering as well, Capricorn, but I also just want to, anytime I see the chariot, especially when it comes in twice, Capricorn, this is such an affirmation, such and such, such an affirmation, Capricorn, that you are on the right path. And because judging off your reading card, other cards, I do just get the sense that some of you guys need to be, um, this is my like normal habit is to like grab onto my glasses, but I have one. Um, I just do get the sense, Capricorn, that some of you guys may feel like you're in some limbo right now. So, um, very interesting. I also just want to say with this chariot card as well, um, Capricorn, just to anticipate this week, um, it's almost just like you're going to be kind of not set up, Capricorn, but I do feel like there's going to happen at some point this week, a lot of things are going to happen at once for you. Um, I don't want this to sound ominous or any type of way, just more so like there, I do feel like you're going to be pulled in a bunch of different directions or you're going to be called um, into several different things at once that you need to manage, uh, Capricorn. So I only just say that just so that you can keep your mental in check. Um, in the sense of just, being, like, you know, staying calm at this time, Capricorn. Um, you know, especially when we're dealing with a lot of things at once, it's very easy to just try to get everything taken care of, get that checklist done, boom, 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 right? Or you just feel pressured um, into making immediate decisions. And I feel as if, like, you need to remind yourself, Capricorn, that it's like you only feel so pressured. I mean, obviously, some, some things are going to be time sensitive, right, Capricorn? But things, a lot of things can seem like it's happening really fast for you. And life is happening really fast for you when you're going when you're in a car going 100 miles per hour and i feel like you kind of need to remind yourself capricorn that yeah you may be going 100 miles per hour but you can always put the brakes on you can always just let up on the gas right and so you can take a look around so if life seems scary right now if life seems just like oh there's, there's you're not going to be penalized from your life if you just take a moment to just like think things think not voice crack honey think things through capricorn so just remind yourself of that with this chariot card so i hinted at some of you uh capricorns getting this sense of where it's just like you feel like you're in limbo right now or you just feel like um because you're pr probably, pur I just heard the word purging, because you're probably purging a lot right now, purging people in your life, purging situations, 
um, just letting go of things, washing your hands clean of situations that like, you know, uh, closing off loose ends, tying or cutting off loose ends, essentially. Um, you get the release card, Archangel Azrael. This is a card that says the end of a phase or situation, a spiritual transformation, time to move on. So this is why I say Capricorn, because of this card, of why you, some of you guys probably need to be reminded, Capricorn, that you are on the right path because it's like, you know, naturally when people are having to let go of a lot of things, right, especially if they initially uh, had such an attachment to them, you can kind of associate that change, associate that transition and be like, oh, well, wait a minute, like, what did I do wrong, right? You start reflecting back on yourself, Capricorn, and be like, oh, um, you know, don't take don't take things leaving your life this week or don't take you know having to wash your hands clean and stuff right moving on from things whether it's moving on from projects moving on from people capricorn don't take it don't see you moving on as like something that, of where it's like not for your benefit or something that um wasn't meant to happen right um definitely like one of that cliche saying where it's just like friends situations are some situations and friends are there for a season some there are there for a lifetime right um some are there for a few seasons right um but when it's their time to go when that cycle completes right if a friendship comes into completion if something comes into completion and you have to put, close that book right you have to eventually as good as that book may be honey if you go through each chapter some books have seven chapters some books have 70 chapters right and i think you need to remind yourself capricorn that's just like some of you may have some seven chapters you may have some just even a single couple chapters honey you may have a couple of dr seuss books where you don't even know what they're talking about or how to make sense of that honey but um at the, you know just the one thing that they all should have in common is that you have to close that book at the some point and just because you close that book and you finish uh yeah you close that book capricorn doesn't mean doesn't say anything bad about the book itself right you know when you quote by logic that you closing that book and finishing that book just uh, is more celebrated right because it's just like oh you completed something you accomplished something so view friendships and connections that you have in your life in the same way so view the experiences view the same projects and you know view things in that way and i feel like you'll be um a lot just i guess more at peace i guess is like this that sense because i do feel like you guys do need a little bit of peace um six of swords eight of pentacles as well as the chariot card coming in for that second time that i talked about before capricorn there is just like this sense of um <laughs> almost like in this dynamic it's kind of like what this is already saying um especially with this eight i'm more so looking at the eight of pentacles and the six of swords um we'll just put the chariot card to the side here because we already talked about the chariot so you already know but um it's kind of like the same repetitive message of where it's just like you're because the eight of pentacles capricorn is a card of um just learning right you know it's not reflective but it's just like learning in some type of capacity so when it's attached to the six of swords it's like you're kind of learning to put some distance between you and something learning when to uh fold learning when to move on from something with the six of swords you may not be happy with that decision for now but this is a card of distance um capricorn so definitely it's just like the same it's kind of like the same message i feel like you get what i mean virgo um why did i call you virgo it's because i literally in my head like two minutes ago <laughs> capricorn i was just like oh don't want to call you virgo because i just called did virgo's reading capricorn and i'm just now because i put that in my head yeah it's just there capricorn so i apologize um but the other two cards we have coming in for you is the queen of pentacles as well as the seven of cups now capricorn i do it's almost like capricorn you have several options to consider right and it's just like you don't want to consider the option of where it's like you put distance between yourself and the, this other person or situation you don't want to release something it's like you see it there you kind of just like you have it in mind you're just like oh yeah you see that one there and she's like oh i probably should move on from it but but you're seeing it's just like oh well there's this other option here maybe i can still make it work with this person maybe i can extend this book for a couple more chapters honey but you know you can enjoy that green eggs and ham book honey 
and just because you enjoy that green eggs and ham book as much as you want it's just like green eggs and ham after however many pages green eggs and ham is like 12 or 20 pages it's gonna end at some point right and so with this queen of pentacles coming in this is a card of like it's more so like a lonesome energy or like a she's i mean more so i guess like the queen of pentacles is comfortable being with yourself right so it's just like you need to make the choice of where it's just like something that's just best for you right and what may be best for you i mean with this sign with this type of dynamic it's kind of signaling like the consider the choice consider the cup that is best for you but it is giving a sign of where it's just like what's best for you may especially with the other cards maybe be, you be putting distance between you and this other person you know it's kind of one of those things it seems uh capricorn where it's like you have to come to, ter come to terms with the fact that something's just there meant for a season right so but i feel like you already kind of knew this you did know this with that seven of cups you knew it but you're just you're kind of just hoping to see if there's like any other way possible to just make it work um yeah but now capricorn let's just get into the blessings coming for you this week right we already talked about the heavy stuff what blessings can capricorn expect for this week right let's see what the tarot cards have to say for my beautiful capricorns and what blessings are going to be coming for my capricorns this week okay so we have the six of pentacles the ten of swords and the knight of wands definitely a um closure this is definitely closure um i don't remember which other terror sign as well got this sense of that they were going to be getting closure it may have been taurus actually uh but capricorn you guys are definitely getting closure in terms of something with this ten of swords here i do get this sense that this is like it's like, you know how I made the comment before Capricorn early in this video where I was like, you're cutting off or, you know, tying off loose ends. Uh, this is definitely that sense. It's just like, you're getting some closure this week. You're getting this sense of being like, you're closing off those loose ends. It does show to me that you do close the book to that chapter, right? No matter how hard you choose to like, bring it in, right? And like, make it work with it. I do get this sense. I just keep on hearing closure. Um, it may be related, it may not be, but let's see actually with some clarifiers. Let's see what other insight we can get from there. The beautiful Capricorns. Let's see. How are you guys doing, by the way, Capricorn? I didn't, I've, I didn't ask any of the other signs, but I do, like, I can't help but feel, um, I just want to do, like, a check-in with my Capricorns. I feel like my Capricorns are usually, like, my silent watchers. I don't really interact with most... It doesn't seem like my Capricorns interact um, too much in the comments with me. I mean, which is totally fine. I'm such a silent watcher as well, Capricorn. But, um, yeah. What's going on? Y'all are, like, my most mysterious sign. I don't know... Uh, Capricorns I probably know the least, most, least about just because I don't... I haven't had that many experiences with that many Capricorns, so... Y'all didn't come here for that, though. Let's continue on with this reading. <laughs> Capricorn. So, we have for your clarifiers, four clarifiers, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, so you're definitely getting closure into something that, like, you felt initially defensive about. You felt something, this sense of where it's just, like, Either it just wasn't working out initially with that seven of wands there or where there was like the sense of where it felt like it was working against you or you weren't sure it was like you weren't sure where you stood with some type of situation right and so you kind of just have been like st stuck well i don't want to say stuck right you kind of just been sitting there biding your time with this capricorn and it's just this sense of where it's just like well you don't know what to do with it so you're just going to kind of stand there and wait right until some type of something lets up something gives you affirmation on what to kind of do right there does seem to be like this unsureness with some situation because of that unsureness it does seem to be like you're responding in a defensive way in the sense of where it's just like your guard is just up until your, your guard is up and you fro like your feet you froze and you're just like okay not moving anymore until i know what this is about right just get the sense that you're getting closure knight of pentacles this could be communication from a person ten of pentacles it's, i can't yeah i just keep on hearing closure and i feel like this closure just really helps heal a lot for you you keep on getting tens as well and 
I always associate tens with the closure of cycles of uh, Capricorn. So really interesting. With this Ten of Pentacles as well, it does speak about stability. It does speak about... It's, it's, I heard <laughs> that face I just made. I did hear where it's just like, it's through this closure, it's almost like you're finally, um, what I heard is just like allowing yourself to like continue like this next phase of your life or something like that. Or it's just like something, it's, it just feels like because something closes off or some loose ends um, be, are tied up or get closed or whatever the phrase is. Um, it like you just get this sense of relief and it just allows you to do something that you felt like you couldn't have the time for or that you couldn't do before or just something that you just didn't allow yourself you yourself to do um capricorn so it's really interesting right because here's the thing with this like you're ma you made the choice to kind of just like stop right and just kind of weighing things out so i definitely see you capricorn just being in control of something um, and once some type of new information comes in, that closure comes in, whether it is through information or some type of person, right? That Knight of Pentacles, um, extending out that communication to you, extending out their pentacle to you. It just brings forth such closure to you that it's extremely just healing to you. Um, so definitely let me know what this is about, Capricorn. I would love to hear about what, like, uh, by the end of this week, I do get this sense, like, it's just going to be like... If it's like your, your your thoughts and like your perspective on things are going to feel a lot more pristine or a lot more crystal clear on like what to do um, and how to go about maneuvering through things. Just allowing, I just keep on hearing, just like you're allowing yourself to finally do something, Capricorn, through that closure. No, what are these cards, honey? Are we taking all these though? I guess. <laughs> Y'all see me just arguing with these tarot cards, <laughs> pulling an attitude with some tarot cards. So we get the Ten of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Um, a lot of repeating cards, actually. <laughs> so let's separate this into three. Well, give me a moment. <laughs> this is why I argue with my cards, Capricorn, because it's like I usually do not do this many, but it's insistent. So how are we arranging this? I actually feel like it is set up in this way properly. Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and Ten of Swords, Capricorn. This is the first section of it. And then we have the second section of it, Capricorn. Two of Swords following you, Six of Wands, and the World card. So let's start with this first section first, Capricorn. Ten of Swords following you um, with this Ten of Pentacles, or Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this does speak on just like some type of anxiety. Like, I just, I feel like this is what's get coming to a closure, right? I mean, again, with that Ten of Wands, or Swords coming in, speaking of Ten itself and that Ten of Swords following you, just something that you've been having a lot of anxiety about is really going to just come to a close. And kind of funnily enough, whatever you were initially having anxiety about, it does seem to be like, now it just, like, I mean, it's hard for me to, like, really give a specific example because it's just, like, for some of you guys, you may have anxiety about something coming back and, like, harming you or, like, putting something, like, stabbing you in the back from an old wound from before. But it's just, like, for other people, it's almost just, like, the same thing that, like, brought you pain and brought you anxiety, you end up working with and collaborating with and actually, like, it just gets, like, the ball rolling on something. And this dynamic, this is what I'm talking about. With the world card, the six of wands and the two of swords, this it's showing to me like the th very thing that you're feeling guarded about, the very thing that you were kind of just like standing there and just like waiting until like you knew what to do next and until you got more information or what have you, uh, Capricorn. It does seem to be like six, success is in the horizon, right? Six of wands is that success card. Um, you're definitely going to be seeing the results of stuff. The world card coming in as well. I always say complete is talking about completing cycles as well. And the world card is like also in the, for major arcana. It's like nearing the very end of the chapter, like the life experience that is the fool. Um, definitely look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about, Capricorn, because I feel like you'd resonate with it. So this is definitely just showing to me whatever this two of swords experience is for you that where your guard is up. 
um, you're definitely getting some closure in regards to this that just allows you to just begin the next phase of your life, essentially. Capricorn, as dramatic as that sounds, it seems it's definitely covered this, like it was important enough for it to be covered into this entire reading and seep through this entire reading. So, uh, yeah. That's the tarot cards that I have for you, though, my beautiful Capricorn. I hope that you did enjoy this tarot reading. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, Capricorn. And then I would love it, Capricorn, if you were to share my tarot reading videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Until next time, though, Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.